Howdy, this is Bob Robertson. I'm here to provide the fine citizens of Kentucky knowledge to help your survival in this apocalypse. Don't mind the blood and guts. The homeowners association came by to complain about how loud my generator is at night. Today, we have two skills that we are going to cover, since they are both kind of intertwined. We are covering cars and how to maintain them. This uses the mechanics and the metalworking skills, as long as the base knowledge of electrical. Now we'll go over the tools we need to use for the job. First, one tool I always have on hand is a screwdriver. You can use this to remove the lights, battery, radio, and windows on a car. Once you have the knowledge, you can use it to hotwire the car. Next, we have the lug wrench, the tire pump, and the jack. The lug wrench and the jack are used to replace the tires. Meanwhile, the tire pump is used to inflate the tires. Last but not least, we have your everyday wrench. This will be used for replacing any of the other parts, as well as fixing the main engine. We gotta talk about metalworking. In order to start disassembling, you need a welder mask and a propane torch. Training metalworking works just like carpentry. You start disassembling everything. Metal sheets can be used for stronger window barricades and repairs. You can build strong walls, fences you can see through, and a container which can hold up to 90 kilograms. No clue why the hell we're using this fancy schmancy European system in Kentucky, but what the hell. If you are no good thieving burglar, you will have the knowledge of how to hotwire a vehicle from your previous profession. If you were an upstanding citizen who follows the law, then you should have no such knowledge, and I should have no reason to find you. You will need two mechanic skill and one electrical skill to hotwire. When you have the knowledge, enter the vehicle on the driver's side, press V, and select hotwire. This may take a few tries, and you will need a screwdriver to perform this task. Now that we have secured transportation, it's time to talk about damage. Every time you hit something, be it dead or be it wall, it will deal damage to the hood of a car. When the hood reaches 0%, the damage is transferred to the engine. You don't want engine damage. It's a hell of a lot harder to repair the engine than it is the hood. When your engine's health is less than around 50%, your engine will start to stall while driving. This means you need to restart your engine. Having an engine stall when surrounded will make you into an unopened can of spaghetti bolognese to the dead. Tasty and nutritious. If an engine hits 10 to 15% just like you, it's dead. You'd better hop out and start shooting. Now for your next question. How do I keep this from happening to me? Keep your goddamn car repair. To repair an engine, you need spare parts. To get spare parts, you need to take apart another car. This is gonna leave someone stranded later on. Now to repair the hood, all you need is a metal sheet, propane torch, and a welder's mask. Shit, I told you it was harder to fix the engine. Make sure to check your car every time you leave car is in bad condition, so are you. Let's get into the mod section of this broadcast. Filibuster Rhymes adds an extensive amount of new vehicles. They seem vanilla friendly-ish, and they even have fuel and propane trucks. So far, I've never really had a problem with it in any way. I will use it every time. Are you looking to add some badass vehicles? Auto Tsars has your back. They've got revamped trailers, boats, and motorcycles. They have cars which can be outfitted with storage or armor, giving you an actual reason to level up metalworking and mechanics to a high level. If you want to have some fun while driving, I highly recommend the True Music mod, along with time period accurate music. Got a school bus full of survivors ready to hit Fort Rockridge? Fortunate son. Feeling like a cowboy, grab a double barrel of two revolvers and start blasting Billy Ray Cyrus. No, just kidding. Nah, they got Hank Williams or Marty Robbins as a great example. 
feel like busting the cap in some bitch ass fools, I got you with NWA, Salt and Pepper, or Tribe Call Quest. It has cassette tapes which can be played in a car radio or a boombox. It also has a vinyl player which needs to be connected to speakers, but offers a nice way to relax after a grueling loot run. All in all, it's a great mod with a great song list hitting all genres. One thing that stands out. It offers a tutorial to make your own playlist, which can be inserted at any server you own or your single player game. Well, this has been Bob. Stay safe, everybody. Watch your back when checking them engines.